What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. In my last soccer video, I told you that the guys who write their in-game names in the comments first uh, will get their heads on one of the armor stand fans that I created. And here you go. You see, there are pretty, a pretty big amount of uh, guys, of my subscribers on the armor stands and yeah, I really like to involve my community and I'm very thankful for my community. So I think that's a pretty nice way to thank you all. And ah, they were doing the wave. Nice, isn't it? Um, Lego Lord actually suggested to uh, give them the player name tags as well and set them to visible. So I did that. And of course, I did not do all of that by hand, but I created an MC edit filter. Uh, to simply place the heads on the armor stands and actually since Minecraft 1.8 with the new UUID system was released it's not that easy anymore to create player heads and place them so yeah I decided to share that MC edit filter with you so this is the world where I can actually demonstrate it to you and you see this is my player head, it's once in the chest, etc. And this actually is a custom player head uh, in the shape of a companion cube of um, the portal series. And yeah, so with this filter you can actually have custom player heads as well as regular ones. So yeah, you can apply this filter to entities like zombies, uh, and skeletons, etc. And you can also apply it to chests. So, damn it. Um, so yeah, if you place a chest somewhere and select it, of course you are going to uh, get the item placed in the chest. So yeah, uh, we we'll just put some zombies there to demonstrate it and a skeleton. The same thing actually works for uh, armor stands as well. And yet yeah, it, it works for all of the mobs that have an inventory. So, okay. Um, I will just head over to MC Edit now and show you how the whole system works. So let me just load the map. And you see, I will just select all of that because um, this includes all of the entities. Here we have the armor stand, here we have the zombie and the skeleton, and here we have the chest. Then I'm going to hit filter, select the 1.8 player skulls filter. And it's important to note that this filter requires an internet connection. So, uh, yeah, and all of the selected entities, of course, will get the skull as a head. And, yeah, if you want to have a player name, simply input the name, for example, Notch. But that would be too mainstream, mainstream of course. So... Uh, we can, of course, have a um, image link to a skin. And this is basically just a skin that I created uh, using a skin generator tool. And it only contains the parts of the head because these are the only necessary parts. I uploaded it to image UR, And then I took the direct link. And if we take that direct link and um, put it inside of that uh, field, uh, yeah, it's just going to parse it and put it on the player head. It's important to start it with uh, HT, HTTP uh, colon slash slash because otherwise the filter won't know that it's a link. And yeah, it has to be the exact link, of course. Unfortunately, MC Edit does not uh, support copy and paste yet, so you have to um, remember it. Okay. Here we go. And actually, thanks to Adrian Brightmore for helping me out with uh, finding out a link where the UUID um, skins for every player are stored because since the new system, um, it has changed. If you input a player name, it redirects you to the UUID and Adrian Brightmore told me the links where I can uh, find that and it's used in my filter, thanks to you. Okay, if we hit filter now, you see uh, it simply applied the mob heads to the chest, etc. 
and yeah i can actually if i only select the chest it's going to add the another item to the chest so it's not going to override old items and i can simply demonstrate the whole thing with a player name for example let's take jeb underscore here we go i hit filter then i hit save and if i head back into my minecraft world you see we have this custom uh, head here yeah it's pretty ugly because hmm, yeah i didn't put too much effort into it but yeah you can see the basic idea behind it and in this chest we're going to have both jeb's head and this custom head which you can place everywhere so yeah this is basically how it works and I hope you enjoyed this video. The filter download is, of course, in the video description. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.